Hello and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. We're, um, I'm actually going to be doing a story thing here. I didn't know there was going to be a story thing, but we're going to do it. Uh, renegades have been destroyed. Really? The re oh yeah, the renegades have been destroyed. 2000. New mission, last dawn, clear the southeastern farmstead from renegade stalkers. I was under the, uh, the, the assumption that this was a story mission. Also, only 2,000? Really? Is that job done too? 2,400. That's for scout. Okay. Uh, is there any other work you want done? Military faction patches six. I think I already have that probably um, Any work you want done Military faction patch 11 never mind See you later. I don't have I don't have six military patches. Oh Wow, I guess I only have four Well, it's a good thing. I only took the the first one and not the second one as well. Any other work? No? Uh, anything else? No? Okay. So, uh, apparently... I, I thought there was going to be something a bit more substantial there, but apparently not. So we're going to be going to the southeastern farmstead from Renegade Stalkers. Um, so these are Renegades. Oh, and I also have to kill this mutant over there. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, I also have to get some food, so we're going to go ahead and check out the, the restaurant. I might actually talk to the locals before I talk to the restaurant. I really don't like to buy from traders if I can avoid it. I've already mentioned why. Oh, hello, friend who is inside of an another friend. Do you have any food? No? What about you? You have money. Would you buy any of my stuff? Mm, not really. Okay. That's fine. What about you, friend? No, no, nothing, no. Just, I saw a renegade shoot a rat in the Great Swamp. Okay. You've got some stuff. Uh, might be worth buying, but I think I'm okay. I don't want that. No, nope, I don't want that. Show me the pizza. That's not a pizza. Wait, actually, you've got a pretty good chunk of money. Is there anything I have that you would buy? Nine mil, I guess. Uh, we have 556.45. I don't think that's what we need, right? Uh, we need, yeah, we need... Well, I, I do want to, I guess I want dis to disassemble anything that we can't use. So never mind. But we will sell the nine millimeter. I don't think there's any reason for us to keep nine millimeter. All right, fine, buddy. You win. You get to sell me some food. I only have 30k, and you're gonna soak me for, well, not quite 6k. All right. I hate that. I know there's other options, but I think this is the best one. I know I could probably just like hold out and then buy some food, but. Uh, or, or not even buy some food, like hunt a mutant and then, and then cook it up. But I really don't like traveling around like that. I don't I do not do like that, you know? Also, I did manage to buy some purification tablets. Um, that was one of the few things I got done between the last and this episode. These are purifying pills. We're going to use these. Uh, what? Do I have to, like, drag them on? Oh, I guess, okay, right-click this one and use. Maybe I have to drag them onto the water. I think, I think that that worked. Okay, so we have purified water. Uh, it doesn't actually, yeah, so this no longer radiates us at all. I don't know if it used any purifying, how, how much purifying stuff it used. Not much. Stuff isn't too expensive. It's certainly not as expensive as a buying water. So this is going to be my new method for ever until I find something better. I don't think that there is anything better. Generally speaking, it's, it's better for you to uh, learn how to make your own stuff 
than it is to buy stuff. Hence why I hate buying from traders. Regardless of their price. If their prices are good, that's fine, whatever. But So I am going to um, probably head to that mutant first. The one just northeast of here. Actually, it's just straight north. What is that? Unknown enemy. Uh, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that on the map before. I would consider checking that out. Mission updated. Oh, well, that's my mission done. I, I honestly, like, I don't mean to exploit this game. But, uh, this just kind of happens. Help the Clear Sky Assault team. Alright, so we're going to be going east then. We'll just follow the road east. We're actually, like, in good health right now. We're, we've got... You know, we're good on calories. We're good. Um, we're just good. You know, it's it's a rare thing. But um, I don't actually need anything. I would certainly take some food. Uh, good to have surplus, but like the fact that I can actually make my own water now, it's very good. It's uh, like ideal. I would like to figure out maybe in the future um, a better solution. Uh, reliable solution for making food or even finding food I'm not sure I guess at a certain point when um, money is less of a problem I won't mind buying food but like it is constantly a problem I mean we're at 26,000 I mean eh, it's not that bad I, I seem to recall yeah actually it's not too bad I seem to recall that that beef can at one point was 6,000 so I'm, I'm curious as to why it was less than 3,000. That's interesting to me. Honestly worth. Those are Clear Sky. These, uh, this might be the Clear Sky troop that is heading to take on that Renegade um, group in the, to the east. Although it's a little bit soon. How y'all doing? Not, not polite to point your gun at someone. Uh, is there any work you want done? Good to ask them. Anything, any work? Deliver the package to Darkscape. I don't really want to go to Darkscape just yet. Any work? Mama's beads artifact. I'm also not really, really ready to um, search for like a specific artifact. That, that job is very common and uh, it might be that it's easier to do than I think it is, but I'd rather, I'd rather not. Okay, you guys are taking up like all of the road real estate here, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk past you. Don't you just hate it when people like, you know, like a group of people are walking down the road and they are taking up just the entire path? Like my guy, you know? one of you walk behind i know um you know maybe they'll, they'll feel awkward but like you can do it and you know still maintain a conversation i've done it okay i have kicked the hornet's nest did not mean to do that i'm gonna whoop. i might not save right now Feels good to be outside today, apparently. I don't know what I'm shooting right now, but it looks like I'm, like, shooting artifacts. I'm gonna save. It's a risky save, but... Possibly worth it. What do you mean, splash? Hmm. 
Give me more of them? I don't think so. I think we're good. Uh, these were bandits. Uh, let's see. Does this have anything? Oh, it's got a pretty good... I don't know what that is. Functional barrel. Field strip the barrel. Like I said, I'm going to be more picky choosy. Oh, wait. Not, not barrel. Um... What is that? Damage extractor, worn trigger. Worn trigger. I'm already looting and the job's not done yet. Okay, well, I managed to kill that guy without taking any damage. We've got some food. And coffee. I'm pretty sure that is coffee. Anything good here that looks... Okay, we got a pretty good barrel. Um, I'll take the barrel. And what was... What else was that? Functional bolt carrier. Oh, that was the bolt. Oops. Listen, listen I'm still trying to figure this out. I want to be fast, but also, you know, methodical. Being both is kind of difficult. Is there anything good here? Yes, there is. A uh, functional trigger mechanism. So we'll take the trigger mechanism. I'm uh, just trying to take, like, the stuff that is basically above 65%. Anything above 65% is probably worth taking. Uh, everything else can, you know, go away. Sorry guys, but I don't trust you not to completely loot everything. Uh, I think I already looted everything. I know, like, I, I do read the, the irony. Oh god! Ow! Oh, did I just shoot at the clear sky guy? You looked so much like a bandit. Okay. You guys are, are not very effective, I gotta say. Uh, let's bandage up. I might be fine, but it's good to be uh, better to be safe than sorry. Yada yada. Um, I already took from this one. Is this the other one? Ah. Worthwhile. I'm not gonna bother. Not gonna bother with the uh, some of the parts for pistols. I don't know if it like really matters. Like I don't plan on using a pistol, and I don't think any pistol parts are going to carry over for like anything else, like rifles. So these guys do look like they're just kind of moving on to the next thing, which is fine with me because I, I, you know, they, they're we're we're all kind of working together here. Actually, let me uh, reload. It seems to me like NPCs do not trigger uh, anomalies, which can mess you up, honestly. Okay, that means it's jammed. I do like the animation for a jam shotgun. It, it looks like it, it makes sense to me. Uh, we have eight shots for this left. That should be enough. I don't really want to play um, ammo. I guess I'm going to do the whole ammo thing. Um, all right, so What what does this need? I, oh, I guess I only have the one magazine for this, huh? Eject magazine and this is gonna take uh, 762 40 uh, 39 Which we have none of okay What are we, what are we aiming at here? Oh, very good. No, I don't want to, oh. Okay, 
Okay. That worked well. There may be more. Uh, I want to know what gun that guy was using. The one that like do 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 do. That sounded uh, like a good weapon. What do we got here? Anything good? That looks like a functional bolt carrier. We'll do functional bolt carrier. Grab the ammo. Was there not another body over here? Ah, yes. Let's do a save. Things are going very well right now. I'm not taking any of this for granted, I promise. Take everything for now. Uh, nice bolt. Or sorry, barrel. Not not bolt. Um, that's not a terrible uh, functional extractor. Take that. And uh, we could take the hammer. Not a terrible hammer. Yeah, I have to... I don't know what's up with this gun, but it seems to have funky effects when I shoot something. Which I'm, you know, I'm not opposed to. It's, it looks cool. So is it, we're coming up to, I think, the main town that we have to clear. Yes. So this is going to be dicey. Whoops, wrong, wrong button here. I expect these guys to do most of the dirty work. I'm just going to get into a nice position. Oh. That's a jam. We're almost out of bullets. Uh, and that is us out of bullets. I'm gonna save. Uh, are you clear sky or bandits? It's so hard to tell sometimes. Part of it is actually the lighting. Oh. Oh god, there's a lot of them. reload I am gonna save this is probably a mistake but I am I took like four shots there shotguns pretty good range don't forget that This will be very profitable, um, if I survive. I think we're good. We are good, I think. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to loot here. I gotta be fast. Uh, nothing worth taking there. Nothing good there. There was a cleaning kit there. That's actually very good. We've got a dirty extractor. Take the extractor. Is that... That was the extractor. Good. Okay. There's also clear sky here, and I will be looting the clear sky. We've got plenty of room left. This was a trigger mechanism. Yeah, trigger mechanism. I'm actually starting to learn... Um, the difference. Uh, we've got a Molot. I don't know what that is. Just taking the magazines for now. Any good parts on there? I don't know. I'll take the barrel. It kind of looks like it might fit on the SKS, but probably not. Sorry, not the SKS. Um, 
maybe it's this actually no there is a i i think it, i'm thinking of the svt i will do a little bit of management we've got a nice functional recoil spring again i don't know why i'm taking those i i guess honestly um they, they're not terrible selling fodder I think that was a grooming kit. I do kind of semi know what the grooming kits are for now. Um, you know, cue your obvious joke here. But uh, no, for real, the um, the grooming kits are useful for crafting with, apparently. Anything good here? Not really. Oh, it's got. There's a couple of good. There's a good extractor, and there's a good trigger mechanism. I'll take both of those. We are actually over encumbered, which is saying a lot considering how much my new weight uh, potential is. Ooh, we've got almost everything on this is good. So I'll take it all. Um, okay. So this place is uh, belongs to Clear Sky again. Let's do a little bit of healing. I can do a proper heal when I get back. Uh, I'll probably end up dropping a bunch of that stuff. A lot of it is kind of garbage. But I mean, if I can take it, why shouldn't I take it, right? If I can carry it, why shouldn't I carry it? That went pretty well. I mean, I had like a, almost a full army assisting me and I still almost died, but hey, still, uh, you know, I'll take it. We've got a clear sky over here. Anything good? Ooh, look at all this stuff. Uh, I did not mean to take the gun. I did not mean to take both of those guns. Okay, um, let's unload all of us ammo. I might take that perk that um, on my next trade pickup, the, the perk that lets me unload ammo. Because then this would be a lot less arduous. I wonder if any of these would fit um, type 63 rifle. Is this a type 63 rifle? I don't think so. I'm kind of hearing a bad guy, like a zombie. Okay, drop that. Uh, we're going to have to do this business again. Let's drop all of these magazines. They're worth, like, something, but uh, I really just don't want to have to deal. Um, we could do pr probably we want to drop... Wow. When did I get this, like, almost fully repaired CS1 body armor? Look at that. It's actually much better than what I'm wearing. When did I get that? When did I get this? It's a, fa it's a clear sky fra faction. Did I, like, just pick that up? Because, oh, my lord, this thing is very nice. Slightly less radiation resistance is the only bummer. Um, wait a minute. Negative three, negative 11 impact resistance is is a small bummer. Slightly less weight carried, but uh, as a, on a whole, this um, body armor is like straight up better. They saw me changing outfits. They know I'm a free stalker. That's an interesting, uh, that's interesting. I wonder if you can disguise yourself as like a bandit if you do it um, when no one's looking. Okay, I'm gonna drop, um, oh, dismantle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff that I don't need. Uh, I'm sorry we have to do this a lot in this series. Um, probably, oh, I'm at 90, oh my god. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to drop quite a lot of stuff. I'll drop down, I, I might do a pause here, <clears throat> just to, like... You know, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll drop all the stuff I need to, uh, you know, I, I can drop, and then we'll start thinking about dropping stuff that, you know, prioritizing things. Oh, we can drop the, these guns, for sure. 
Uh, I don't actually even want anything from them. We'll just drop those weapons. Oh, you know what? This one we can. We'll get the bolt. I'll take. I'll take the barrel and the bolt carrier. Barrel, bolt carrier, and then we'll drop that. I would like to be under eighty-one kilograms. Um, we'll drop, we'll drop this one. Let me see, is there anything else I can get rid of? Just trying to keep the, the necessities. We have 762.39, this is the actual, this is actually what we need. I don't know, uh, this AK-104 is really nice, but I, like, I do need a specialized magazine for it, which makes it kind of a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I, yet, if I want to commit to it. Um, might be worth, we could disassemble some of this stuff. Some of the, some of the ammo can get disassembled and I think it will save us a bit of room. All right, we're, we're almost there. As soon as I'm under 81 kilograms, I should be able to move fairly fast. And then I'll just go back to our camp, hand in those quests, see if maybe uh, Mr. Man, the dude, has uh, some other quests that we can take. Um, we have an extra magazine here that we could probably get rid of. Let's go ahead and throw that away. We don't need 54. I think we need 39. Need, yeah, 39. So I'm going to go ahead and dismantle all of our 762.54. This is a lot of dismantling. We're almost there. Um, I guess we're not really buying a lot of room here. Don't forget about that package in the northern region of Agropom. Um, it pains me to say this, but probably Agroprom is like our next major visit, the next place on our on our to-do list. Um, I, the reason it pains me is if it's anything like the Agroprom from Shadows of Chernobyl, it's going to be absolutely nightmarish. I am not looking forward to that. We have, uh, we don't, from all of this, we only got one propellant for large rifle. Everything else was for pistol shotgun. Oh my God. Um, we could, let's dismantle this shovel. You can use the shovel to make something. I wouldn't mind doing that, but um, at this point, I really need to start thinking about, uh, you know, space. And we will save a bit of it. Like, for instance, this radio. The radio I am going to keep, though. You can actually make that. That'll, that'll help me make my, uh, my bear detector. Here's our... Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and um, eject the magazine. And we'll throw our 762.39 in there. I don't think that that's going to save us any space. But, you know, one can dream. Or like one kilogram over. What a bummer, eh? It's the most Canadian you'll ever hear me sound. Kind of want to drop this kerosene. Kerosene would not get us there. Ball peen hammer. Oh my god. Just find something. I don't want to drop like everything that I like think about dropping is like uh super necessary. We'll drop all this crap. We need to find and get rid of like an entire kilogram. Let's get rid of some of these barrels. Like we don't really need two of each. And they weigh like the most. Okay, we're finally under. All right, we're going to head west, and we're going to head to um, our base. I can do a pause. I don't think you need to... Like, you didn't need to see any of that either, honestly. 
Um, I, I The only reason I don't want to pause is honestly it's getting kind of dark and there might be some interesting stuff going on. But uh, it's going to be a lot of me walking around in the dark, so I don't know. But uh, hey, I mean, some positive changes. This map is, uh, you know, has a lot less renegade stalkers in it. These were like fairly major quests I've completed. Um, I don't know, like, I, I, I only assume that the red quests are like major quests that they, they, they can like lead to something a bit more substantial. Um, but I, I, that is honestly a pure guess. It might not be the case at all. It might be that there are no, um, like major quests or story based quests in this, um, version of soccer. Oh, we, our endurance is not great right now, probably because I'm thirsty. So we're going to go ahead and drink some water. Don't want to have to like do this thing where I'm, my endurance is being worn down simply by walking. This game is very pretty. I uh, I sent this game to uh, like a bunch of my friends and um, I got a lot of like, wow, I have to like, you know, adjust my eyes for a game that looks old. And I'm like, this doesn't look old. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just used to games looking primitive. Maybe I'm just not used to, you know, like I don't play a lot of AAA games. I don't play a lot of um, graphically intense games, but I mean, for the amount of depth that this game has a lot, the amount of stuff, you know, details, layering details and mechanics, I think this game looks really good. <laughs> Definitely. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, jank around the edges, but like, it's amazing to me how like not jank it is also like here's the thing you know when people talk about graphical prowess or like graphical uh innovation um i feel like a lot of it is misplaced you know like something that a couple of things that really bother me that are never addressed in like a lot of the triple a modern games is like the horrible pop-in because we have to find this like workaround. It's like every single model in a lot of games have like 10 bajillion triangles and, and you know, whatever's. And it means that the these games take, or these, these models take forever to load. So they have to play like all these crazy, weird shortcut tricks to ensure that you don't, you know, you don't see them loading in. But you do see them loading in and everyone knows the tricks now like you know whenever someone crawls through a tight crevice you know it's like okay no loading screens huh um but like you know i i, I would trade all of the triangles in the world all of the all of the polygons for a game where i can see like i i have a view distance this far and I could, a whoops, I didn't mean to fire that bullet. And I could actually see someone this far away, you know? Like, never mind, see that mountain, you can climb that mountain. I would like to see something on that mountain that it, that doesn't look like, you know, that looks like, I, you know, I could maybe hit it with an arrow or something. You know, like, I, I, uh, the, uh, I, I believe based on like you know the I've, I've received quests and i'll see markers on the map like for instance whenever i get the mutant qu uh, quests it'll show me a marker on the map and i'll see that marker moving and it just that kind of blows my mind it's like you know wow like what a thing you know i don't take that for granted because that means that that mutant is being like they they are actually on the map and they're moving around and they're 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 being generated you know like they're they're actually rendering even though i'm not seeing them right now even though i'm miles away you know um i would take a slightly smaller map like this is this is a pretty good size for a map for an open world 
I think this is pretty good. This represents a, you know, a sizable chunk of space. It feels like a lot. It feels far, you know, like I have to travel. But any, everything in it um, is, is kind of, you know, it's got its AI running in the background. That makes it feel like a world, you know, it makes, it makes the, uh, for me, the immersion is there um, a lot more than a lot of these, you know, games where the, the graphical fidelity is insane and there's like a 10 bajillion filters on like every single thing or shaders or whatever you want to call them, fil shaders probably, on, on like every model, but like, you know, you uh, then but you, you like turn 50 corners in order to get to your next like area because that's how they, you know, shave as much loading time as possible. We can't have loading screens because that's a no-no. That's bad now. And I get it. But I, I would gladly take a loading screen if it meant that I had like a bit more of a an area to work with and I didn't have like as much insane pop in. And then there's a, you know, obviously there's the topic about frame rates and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not so bummed about frame rates, but I do agree like at a certain point there there is there are there is a line i i think that uh you know i think if you can get to 60 that'd be nice 30 is uh you know it's it's livable i played a lot of games at 30 frames per second and didn't really care about it until until people started talking about it uh, all right i the the road to the cordon is secure fantastic work 2000 what is it i guess they're giving me stuff labs combat stimulant injector okay new mission last on destroy the military and seize the machine yard oh god that's gonna be tough fantastic work thanks to you we've secured all of the key positions in the swamp here's your reward still it's not all good news this time it's the military that's the issue previously the renegades and whatever other trash came with them wouldn't dare push into our territory and since they weren't willing to pick a fight with the soldiers in the area we weren't exactly friends with the military, but they were content with leaving us alone so long as we didn't bother them in turn. Now, the military has been sending more and more squads of their own stalkers into our turf, and we're t taking heavy losses. I've had enough. Kick them out of the machine yard in the northeast of the swamps. They'll finally give us the advantage here, and ensure Clear Sky can finally get a gain a strong, secure foothold in the area. I'm sending an assault team com composed of our most experienced fighters. They're already heading out from our base. Join up with them and help them with th win this fight. Okay. Is there any work you want done? Mutants rarely stray close to our base. But our guys reported that the previous night some giant beast tore apart the whole team that manned the lookout tower to the northwest. Four well-armed people just smeared all over the perimeter. Those weren't dogs, for sure. I know you're a tough guy, so maybe you could visit the place and get rid of that nasty fricker. I'll do it. Night Terror. Uh-oh. Maybe I've taken something I don't want. Thanks. Any work you want done? Military patches? Anything else? Nothing? Okay. See you later. We have another hand in. I don't know what that hand in is, honestly. I think it's actually the... Uh, yeah, that's the uh, mutant quest bizarre to me that i'm you know these mutant quests give us like far and above more money than you know these like crazy like clear out a base of an entire army of renegades like come on dude come on dude that's a little bit unreasonable job is done Nine thousand, thanks is there any work you want done sorry nothing okay cool um so it is around this time that I would um, do a little bit of inventory management, unfortunately. I have to find... Uh, there's there's no crate in this zone, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, that does mean that we aren't... I, I can't really store a lot of stuff, which is the bad. Um, that's like a big time bummer, honestly. Oh, we got some stashes in the cordon, uh, apparently. Cold wants to eliminate a dangerous mutant which roams not far from the hidden base. Um, 
We're at 40,000. I could possibly, if I sell all of these extra parts, maybe... No, there's no way. There's no way I could get to 20,000. This guy also doesn't sell the gunsmithing tools, I don't believe. No. Uh... Yeah, there's a good place I wanted to... There was a good reason I wanted to move on from the swamps. I guess I'm just going to sell all this stuff. I don't really want to, but the inventory space that it's going to take up, the real estate is uh, is just too valuable, unfortunately. We'll get some more stuff. It's not the end of the world. I, yeah, I think even these parts, unfortunately. <sighs> That's such a waste. But, like, what am I supposed to do? You know, I don't have the inventory space to, uh, uh, you know, uh, make up for all of this. I wish I had a tally of, like, how much weight I'm going to be shedding here. It is technically food, but it's not a lot of food. It does not actually provide you with much sustenance. Um, armor inserts. These are really good, but I don't actually... I don't think I this will take an armor insert. I don't think so, anyway. This is a thousand. Oh, these are actually worth quite a bit. Well, I'll sell them. Like I say, I, I you know, we'll, we'll get something like that again. It's not the end of the world. Um, not going to sell any of this stuff. Okay, we got rid of, like, close to 15 kilograms of stuff. So that's nice. And we're that much closer to our uh, gunsmithing tool kit. We could also upgrade some stuff, maybe. This guy will, like, do all of the basic upgrades. Um, so I don't think we can buy anything else from that. Maybe we can upgrade uh, a side protection band made of... No, we can upgrade our armor. Stamina recovery, that's not bad. Number of armor attachment modules. I'm not sure what that means. 5,000. We'll do it uh, at another time, I think. We can't upgrade our knife. We can't upgrade our PDA. Um, can we upgrade our... Yeah, we can upgrade this. Stamina recovery plus 12. That's actually really nice. But I'm pretty sure I can get that done myself. We'll have a quick look at the other guy. Um, I'll cook my meat. Real quick. Wait, what? Oh no, I ate it. Oh, you dummy. I just ate, like, raw mutant meat. Oh, that was so stupid. Oopsie. Oh my god. Well, I mean, like, this guy is dead for sure. I can't sleep with my ass glowing. That's pretty funny. Um, don't really want to eat any, like, antidote or stuff like that. I should be able to just kind of wait it out. Maybe not. <laughs> can't sleep with my ass glowing. That's really good. Um, moderately effective at reducing toxicity. We could take uh, one of these. These are not as valuable. Charcoal tablets. Mildly effective at reducing toxicity. All right, let's take one of these. They're, they're not super valuable. They provide a little bit of resistance. Can barely see the road. We have psi resistant things as well. This is a radio protectant. Provides actually very good resistance, but um, makes us dizzy. Uh, all right, well we'll save. And uh, I, that was very silly. I mean, I would I would have loved to have loaded that because you know I don't like wasting food. Um, unfortunately, 
you know it means loading a lot of my inventory management which i just don't, don't want to do i will drink some water that should get rid of a little bit of our rads should be good now yeah we are good i kind of hope that um that force that was getting ready to attack that base is not um like they don't they don't go without me it would make sense if they did it's over there destroy the military and seize the machine yard this is going to be a really annoying one I also don't have any ammo. I should probably buy some ammo. I really wish I could get those gunsmithing tools. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some more biff. Why is it 6,000 now? Is it just me or was it not 6,000? Like it wasn't 6,000 before, right? Did I look at the wrong one? Slightly toxic. Imagine selling like toxic food for like these prices. Honestly, it's it's too true. It's too too true to life. Uh, mildly toxic. Why? I gotta find a non-toxic one here. Mildly toxic. Um, this is annoying. I really don't want to buy beef. <sighs> Alright. It's fine. Um, eh, I'm not going to buy bullets. We don't have a lot of bullets, but I'm not going to buy them because I'm cheap, I guess. That's the lesson here. The lesson today is I'm cheap. Maybe maybe I'll remember to name the episode that or something. I don't know. Drink some water. We've got some vodka. Vodka is actually useful for making medication. I've learned. I was uh, exploring some of the, like, recipes. You have very limited time, I guess, um, while well, you're looking the vice at the vice, but you can, like, check out some of the things, you know, to make. And, um, yeah, you can, you can make everything under the sun if you've got the resources. And, of course, the toolkit. You need a drug-making toolkit if you want to make drugs. But, yeah, I questioned the purpose of vodka for a while, but it being a crafting material for uh, medication is definitely makes it useful. I don't know what... That is definitely a dude. Oh, there's another dude, really? I've got tons of buck. You're you're a good guy. Okay. Jesus, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Is that a, an emission? That's not good. Uh, 
Uh, that didn't really sound like an omission. I might actually be like a an artifact spawning in or something. You already got to this guy, okay. Okay, shotgun is jammed. I should really do something about that. How much ammo do we have in this thing? Wow, two two bullets? I thought I had more than that. Do we... 762... Wow, okay, so it's time to switch back to the AKS for a little while. The only reason I'm not using the AKS more is I don't have a scope for it, and I don't think that there is a scope that I can put on it. The only thing I can put on it is a suppressor. Um, I'm gonna do F2. I want to splint up my arms. Because, like, it does. We do lose health over time if you don't take care of your uh, wounds. Found some good stuff in this backpack. Good for you, bud. Happy for you. Now, the thing I'm really annoyed about concerning taking on. Uh, a military base is you know you know exactly what you know exactly what is we're gonna get besieged by mr helicopter once again i know there's a way to kill mr helicopter once and for all actually not once and for all i'm not sure if you can destroy it permanently there's some mutants over there i think it's fighting another mutant oh those look like baddies Did I really not reload this gun at all? This is going to be a load for sure. That frame, frame hang up really needs to go. I'm going to die. I'm dead. Okay. So I really thought that I had loaded... I had loaded my my rifle. We're gonna we're gonna do a pause here. Okay. So first of all, we need to we need to reload. Oh, is this jammed? What what is happening right now? What is happening? Do I not have a second magazine? Oh, this is not part of our loadout. Okay, that's what's going on there. Just gonna casually stand here while those guys who are not my friend in any sense of the word uh walk by 45 right is that good no we need 39 so i don't have very much ammo for this gun either and they just kind of walked away uh you know what i'm fine with that As long as they don't attack me, I'm cool. I'm pretty sure those were bandits. Sounds like a boar. We're headed north. I gotta go northeast. I'm a little bit concerned about the that mutant that I'm gonna have to fight. Those these things just never have anything in them. Honestly, wouldn't mind fighting a mutant just for some extra food. Okay, we want to head northeast. Are you coming this way? Really hard to tell.
Pretty sure wh wherever that boar is, they're fighting something else. God, remember when I fought Snorks? That sucked. Oh, wait a minute. There's eight bullets in this. We should really consolidate. Okay, that's better. Now we have 30. I think I've ever been here. I don't know, maybe I have. There's something notable about this rock. I really don't like where I'm going right now. I really don't like this whole military thing that I'm going to be doing. I don't even, like, I don't know how I'm going to be doing. Oh. Wow. This is kind of a nice find. That is not food. I need some food. That's not food either, but I'll take it. Can I have some food, please? There we go. That's food. Uh, yeah, I wonder where that group of clear sky, uh, clear sky stalkers are. Because I, I am very definitely going to need their help. They, they were never, they weren't on the map. At least it didn't seem like they were. I really hope I don't have to do this military base on my own. Best case scenario is, um, most of them are already dead, like last time. That would be really nice. I would love that. That would be uh, just fantastic. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't like that. What I would like is for the group of clear, clear sky stalkers to show up out of nowhere. And, um, help me, <laughs> help me fight. Oh, I was about to save. I was actually about to save so I could like, you know, get, get ready. There's a lot of them. Chopper assistance in the great swamp southwest of the machine yard. We are under attack by a stalker. Man. I just hate that. Okay. Well, I don't know when my last save was. And you know, when you, when you ask that question, it's always bad news. Where am I? Okay, this isn't too bad. But I really don't know what I'm going to be doing here. What I should do is head towards those gunshots, because that actually might be the clear, clear sky stalkers. I really struggle saying that. Is that another dog I can chop up? It's the same dog. I'm going to head towards that because it could very well be the group and then I'll walk with them. Mm. 
I hope it's not like this church getting hit again. That would be kind of annoying. There, there's a, some clear sky. Oh, this could be the group. That's certainly a pretty big group. Uh, whoops. I'm a friend. Friend. Yo, one of these guys has a freaking exoskeleton. Yeah, this is the group for sure. All right. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to do a pause here and walk with them. Um, and then maybe I'll unpause if something exciting starts to happen. All right. It's been a little bit of a walk, a little bit of a trick. Nothing exciting happened. I did, I did find some rat corpses. So yeah, you're, you're welcome for me skipping that, I suppose. Um, but we are here ish. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna attack this needs reloading right yeah i i do know in the it's in the bottom right corner i set that up but ah okay time to make myself scarce might actually need to heal already let's do that real quick i should put this on a hot button you guys are, need to be doing the majority of the shooting. I might not save yet. Yeah, and that's why. I think I started shooting at Clear Sky by accident. I'm like, I'm sorry. I just find it really difficult to tell who's who. Especially when I'm looking at them through like 13 layers of, you know, flora. But anyway, I'll you know, we'll, we'll be right back. All right, let's try this again. Also, um, we don't even have any of that, so I'm just gonna put this on the fourth slot here. I'll do a save. What I might do is do a shot now, just to lure them out a little bit. If I could take one of them out, that'd be nice. That was a lot of bullets we spent, but... They're coming. I am doing damage to that guy. That sounded like the, uh, helicopter. Resting air support to our location. Ow! God, that's such garbage. Half the time I have like double vision in this game. I don't even uh, like hear anyone else firing. I swear to God, I'm the only one attacking this base. What happened to my army? That, uh, that's a big old question mark. All right, be right back. Okay, so this time I'm not going to do that. Where are you guys going exactly? Um, are you guys not attacking the base? Excuse me, what? Are you just patrolling? That's not, that's not the base. Um, you, you guys just kind of walked away, huh? 
you you're not actually gonna attack the base are you well this is garbage this actually sucks the big one can i talk to any of you Okay, um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna save or sorry load and then I'm gonna try and lure the the base towards them Because like this is this is not gonna work. I'm there's no way I can take on that army base on my own And I don't think I ever can like I I don't think that I will ever want to um, Put myself in a situation where I'm attacking like I'm hitting 20 dudes Especially if they're military like straight up if they're military that's not gonna fly Okay, so we're gonna lure them out here. Hopefully um, these guys will start attacking. And uh, as soon as I think that they're, they, there's, I've created or can I have to scuffle here? I will save the game. It doesn't seem like I have. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe. They're turn they've turned around anyway. Yes. All right, save. Let's do this. I, I understand that that helicopter is going to be a big per pain in the butt. I actually don't think this is possible. As long as I have a helicopter, I don't think that this is possible. I need to, I need to have um, some kind of weapon that can take out the helicopter, and I don't know what that is. We're under attack by the military in the Great Swamp. Yeah, yeah. Um, I might I might have to abandon this quest. For now, anyway, until at least until I figure out both like either how to turn off helicopters for good or how to destroy helicopters. Cause either way, this is just like not fun. <laughs> I'd rather do almost anything else than have to fight a military base under these circumstances. Okay, we want to not be anywhere near the helicopter. Oh god, we don't want to be near anomalies either. For now, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal myself and hope that you know the tides turn around a little bit. There's so many of them. If I had like a, a rifle full of ammo, I you know I like put several bullets in that dude and still nothing. Okay, uh, I'm giving up on this. This is like the the dumbest quest I think I've ever done, um, in this game anyway. I um yeah I'm not I'm not gonna do this. I don't know what's up. Um, there's a lot of weird things happening, but I I think just in general, um, taking on any military base is just like a losing proposition. I have an entire army of dudes, and you know some of them are like really well armed, and it's still like not happening at all. So I you know I know when to cut and run. Maybe sometimes anyway. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bail on this you guys are all about to die i'm sorry so i'm gonna head um southwest towards the mutant i might uh try and take on the mutant we'll see how nasty that is 
Oh, that helicopter sure is like heading straight straight for me specifically, huh? It, it just disappeared. Oh, no, there it is. Um, it's a shame. There's a uh, there's gonna be a ton of good stuff over there to loot And I will not be able to get any of it It's not a necessarily a good way of looking at it, but that's it is the way it, I do All right, oh god You know, I am really really tired of my guns jamming specifically this gun I, I still can't fire Yo, I am really tired of this, dude. I am really tired of that gun jamming. I, I know it's like not fully repaired. I understand that. But man, the shotgun has just let me down way too many times. Absolutely way too many times. When was the last time I saved? I, I, I really hope it's not near that military base again. Uh, this is not this is not ending well I say ending well because we're we are ending this very soon Uh. Oh god God, it's just one of those days, you know It's one of those days. It's just going like this a lot That looked like an actual rat Not a mutant rat uh, All right, well, um I think I'm far enough away I can save Let's look at this gun. Uh, can I potentially repair this now? Because this is becoming a real issue we Got ourselves a ramrod. Can I use this? No, that's not gonna do it. What about this? Nope So I got to use this here solvent, but this is probably not gonna get us very far Get us to 46 We can also use the camouflage uh, Tarpaulin. I yeah, I don't really want to use it. Um, and like I don't, I I never intended to use the shotgun all that long. So I I don't know. Mm. I probably am going to continue using the shotgun though, because the thing is, is a, a buckshot is is really easy to come by at least it has been more easy to come by than the 762 39 or whatever garbage that like i keep not like running out of i i, I just never have the 762 the very specific ammo that the rifle needs and i understand um it's it's a valuable ammo type it's not common I don't really want to look through that meat. Is that a rat? I'd like to leave or end this episode on a high note. So I'd like to go and um, fight that mutant. Oh no. 
I wanted to leave on a high note, I said. I don't think I can make this. I'll, I'll try my best, but I don't think I'm going to make it. Especially when I'm out of stamina. No. No. Where do I even go in here? I died. I died like right in front of the door. It's, it's just one of those days. It's just one of those days where the zone takes you. The, the zone consumes you, stalker. My God. I don't know if I can make it. Where is my last save? All right, well, uh, here's the high note that we're going to leave this episode on. Um, I'm going to find the closest shelter, and um, I'm going to end it there. <laughs> the, the best I can do is we can not die to a Psy Storm. And I'm pretty sure this is a Psy Storm. Um, I know I'm not pausing through these loading screens anymore, but uh, I'm going to talk through my thoughts for a moment. Results, we have a coefficient of 47.5. Is that a Half-Life reference? Okay. Wow. That started really quickly. So if I cut across here, that's the best I can hope for. What was that? I was hoping that there was a hatch I could jump into. Okay. Well, the game has really got it out for me today. It's just uh, like determined to kill me in like every single possible way. All right, I'm going to try one. All right, I actually already died once. Pretty sure you missed a uh, death. Um, I almost made it and then I didn't. I get to, I get very close and then I die. Okay. Um, I don't think I can make it. Yeah, I, I can't make it. So what I'm going to do, um, this is a bad way to, to leave things on, is uh, I'm going to actually load a previous quick save um, before I left to fight the military. I don't know when that is. Uh, sleep. I guess that would be it. Yeah, that would be the last one before I, I left. So, yeah, that's going to be the one I load. And uh, all of that other stuff, all the stuff that just happened, didn't happen. Didn't fight the didn't fight the military base. There wasn't anything that I earned from that. There wasn't anything I got, really. Um, so I, I, I just want to double check to make sure that this is the save I, you know, this is the last save I did. Um, and then, yeah, we're, we're going to move on and I'm not going to fight, um, that military base. Cause that it was just like a hundred percent not worth it. At least we have, we still have this, although I thought I had a better one of these. Wasn't the, my version of this body armor better? I thought I got a better body armor. Like it was at 100 like 
condition. So I'm not sure about that, but what's what are my quests right now? My quests are take on that m mutant night terror and take on the military base. Okay, so I think that this is uh, correct, and uh, I am gonna fight the night terror, but just like I don't know uh, in the next episode in the future. Um, we're I I'm ready to move on from the swamps. I didn't really intend to come back to the swamps for all that long but um you know it's just like circumstances allowed me to profit a little bit and i have and you know now it's i'm good to go and i have some stashes to collect in the cordon and i should be good monolith faction patch yeah no one likes the monoliths i don't know there's another one i, don't know. I can't i can't find him but anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.